Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Coral and I am the owner of Coral Joy Travel, a travel agency that specializes in Disney vacations, but I also do cruises such as Norwegian Cruise Line. And I mention this because in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some cruise tips that might help you on your next cruise vacation. So if you follow me on Coral Joy Travel here on YouTube, or if you follow me on Instagram, you may notice that I am going on a cruise with my family. And we are actually going on a European cruise, a seven night Western Mediterranean cruise to be precise. And we are leaving from Barcelona, Spain. So this is actually a different type of cruise for my family. We typically have gone on cruises out of New York City or out of Miami or Fort Lauderdale or Port Canaveral in Florida to do some Caribbean cruises. This is our first cruise abroad. So it's a little bit different in terms of what to expect, what to pack, etc. First and foremost, I wanna talk about the currency because since we're going to be in Europe, and all of these ports that we're visiting use euros instead of the American dollar. Something very important that we did was go to our bank before we left. And about a week before we left on vacation, we got our currency exchanged to euros to have them on hand. And that is a very good tip. If you are going abroad, find out what currency you need and have it in advance. Could you do it on the ship? You most certainly can, but if it's done beforehand, one less thing for you to do while you're on vacation, which is a tip. If you've never been on a cruise before, you may not know, but all of the stateroom doors on the cabins are magnetic. So something that our family does to kind of personalize our doors is we usually have um, dry erase boards on them or hooks like on the inside of our stateroom cabin doors to hang up our hats or our pajamas or something like that. Uh, it's also another way for you to kind of make it obvious that it's your room. When you're walking down a hallway of cabins, they really all do look the same, but if you have a magnet of a palm tree on your door and you have young children, that's a great way for them to recognize where their stateroom door is. So that's just another thing that you can do. Just to kind of go a little bit more on the dry erase boards, oftentimes when our family cruises, we get two staterooms and the dry erase board really turns into our way and our form of communication. Could be that our cell phones aren't working when we are away, but if you can write to the other family or friends that you're traveling with and say that you're going to be in a certain location at the pool, in the buffet, and you just write notes and tell the times that you're gonna be there, it'll help kind of keep that communication going when you can't be on your phones. On your embarkation day, and that is the day you embark or go on to your cruise ship, it's always important to have a carry-on. And in that carry-on, I usually have our swimsuits, an extra change of clothes, any medicines that we may need, all of our e-documents that we need for the cruise when we're going um, to get onto the ship, et cetera, with our passports and all of that information. So I keep that handy because your staterooms are usually not ready for a couple hours after you embark. And if you wanna go swimming and your swimsuits in those uh, checked luggage that you handed off when you got onto the ship, you won't be able to swim. And uh, some people do this and that's kind of a bummer because you can't swim and take that opportunity to, you know, do some things when the lines are shorter. That's always a good thing. So uh, definitely consider bringing uh, a carry-on with some personal things that you may need before you can get into your cabin. Talking about cabins, if you are concerned that you may be seasick or you have motion sickness and you've never been on a cruise before, oftentimes it's best to be in the center of the ship or midship where your cabin is located so you feel less rocky. But I will definitely say these big cruise ships, they really have great stabilizers. Our uh, rim is actually in the aft, the very, very, very far back of the cruise ship. I love the aft of the ship. I love it. Yes, it's further walk to get to your rim from the elevators or from the stairs, but I kind of like that. Something else to let you know, if this is your first time possibly cruising, is that room service is free. It's free. So every morning, what we usually do, actually the night before, we usually put on the outside of our room 
um, this little form that you can fill out like what you want for room service the next day and you can say what time you want it delivered. So often we put on that we want coffee and we want some fruit or yogurt or bagels or whatever the family's really interested in for the next morning. We get that at whatever time we put on, 7, 7.30, and we have our breakfast on our balcony overlooking the Mediterranean. I mean, I've never done this before, so I'm really actually looking forward to that part of it, but it's such a fun way to start your day. What are some other cruise slips? So let me tell you, there are evening shows that are complimentary on any cruise line that you go on. Oftentimes they do these shows two separate times, um, but check your newsletter or navigator or what it, whatever they call it on your cruise ship. You usually get it the night before and it tells you all the activities going on throughout the day. And alongside that, it's also smart to bring a highlighter so you can highlight the different activities that you want to do on the ship during that particular day. There's going to be so many choices for you. And you probably won't be able to do everything you want to do, but at least you can highlight the things that are most important to you. So another tip is bring a highlighter. Packing for a cruise is quite challenging. I might, I don't know if I, I will video my packing because it's going to be a little different on this cruise because we're going abroad and we're going to be there for about two weeks. But to make packing the most efficient, I find it best to roll your clothes and we actually use packing cubes as well in our luggage to kind of differentiate between whose clothes are whose and uh, to make life a little bit easier and organized for our vacation away. And because you do roll your clothes, sometimes they do get wrinkly. There are no irons in cabins on cruise lines, but what I have found that works really well is something called a wrinkle release spray. I think Downy makes one. There might be, I'm sure there's other kinds out there, but um, I usually bring one of those wrinkle release sprays with me. I will spray the item, kind of pull the fabric a little bit and hang it in my closet. And oftentimes it takes a lot of the wrinkles out, maybe not all of them, but it looks a lot better. So once you get into your cabin, if you unroll all of your clothes and hang up the ones that need to be hung and use that wrinkle release spray, oftentimes you can avoid most of the wrinkles that were caused on your travel to your destination. Something else I always make sure I bring on a cruise are lanyards to hold your cruise line identification card. Uh, my children often use lanyards and it holds, you know, their their card when they go on and off the ports. I often just keep mine in my purse and my husband just keeps his in his wallet. But since my boys are teenagers, neither of them really carry wallets yet. I'm sure they will soon enough, uh, but the lanyards work really well for that. And hand sanitizers. You will find hand sanitizer locations all around the cruise ships, but in my cabin, I do tend to bring a pump hand sanitizer because you don't wanna get sick. And if you keep washing your hands and you keep sanitizing your hands, you will have a less uh, likely chance of getting sick while you are on your vacation and you really don't wanna get sick while you're on vacation. It's, it's not fun. I've had, uh, we've had experiences in cruise lines where there've been outbreaks and uh, you just, just are, the more vigilant you are and the more often you wash your hands, the less likely you will be, um, well, well, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Maybe you won't get sick. And that's kind of what you don't want to do. Anyway, I'm gonna make that work. I'm gonna somehow make that work so it doesn't sound crazy. <laughs> Maybe I, can I insert the picture of Willy Wonka going <laughs> We'll leave that there. Since we're gonna be away for two weeks and we're gonna be in our suitcases a lot, I often put... <laughs> I often put dryer sheets in our luggage just to kind of keep those clothes smelling fresh. And yes, we are going to be away for two weeks. Do I pack two weeks worth of clothes? No, I'm going to be doing some laundry, possibly at the hotels that we're staying at pre-cruise. And on our cruise line, I know they do offer laundry services, not self-laundry services, but we can send our laundry away to be laundered. And I will be taking advantage of that at least once because that means I can pack less. So that's a good thing for me. Uh, some great tips for women who, or men, who wear a lot of jewelry. Uh, if you get one of those pill containers, you know, like the long strippy ones, 
long, sturdy ones. Uh, you can organize different necklaces and earrings, maybe per outfit in of those containers, and you know it won't get all jostled up too much in like a Ziploc baggie or something like that. So that's how I usually organize my jewelry that way in a pill container. Also bring a portable charger. That'll be handy when you're at the different ports. And yeah, portable chargers are a must, no matter if you're going on a domestic cruise from the States or you're going abroad. Bring portable chargers. Not that I'm really gonna be using our cell phones when we're on the ship, but when we're off the ship, that's a very good thing to have. Oh, in each of the cabins, well, I should say this. Uh, most cabins nowadays do not have alarm clocks in the cabins. So if you need an alarm clock, maybe you wanna bring a travel size alarm clock with you or like battery operated or something like that, or um, you know, use your phone to wake you up if you have to be awake and out the door at a port at a certain time to kind of meet an excursion. Uh, just know that in advance there, most of the cabins do not have alarm clocks. So you might need to bring your own. And my last tip, and these were really in no particular order, but my last tip is to bring an over the door shoe organizer. It might be to organize your shoes. It, for our case, we actually don't use them for shoes. We organize all of our medicine because I feel like I bring a pharmacy with me when I go on cruise. God forbid someone gets sick. So I have, you know, cough drops, I have ginger chews, I have aspirin, I have C bands if people get motion sick, which my family doesn't, but I still bring them anyway. Um, allergy medicine, Benadryl, my EpiPen, all of this stuff we have and we organize band-aids. We keep them in our um, over this door shoe rack to keep things out and off of the counters because you know counter space is limited. Drawer space is limited on these cruises. So I try to put everything that we use frequently, sunscreen, all of that stuff in that over the door shoe organizer. I hope these cruise tips were helpful for you. I know it was kind of all over the place, but um, that's kind of where my brain is because currently right now I'm filming this two days before we go on our cruise. I haven't packed yet, but I'm gonna pack next. So maybe I'll do a video on that. Maybe I won't, I'm not sure, but I will tell you all about it eventually. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, Coral Joy Travel, I am going to be doing Insta stories from the different ports that we visit and while we are on Barcelona before and after our cruise. There's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of great memories and I cannot wait and I can't wait to bring you along because you're gonna love it too. Have a great day and I will see you. This is what happens when you have teenage sons. Have a great day. I will see you in my next Disney video or my next cruise video, Coral Joy Travel. A touch of magic, sharing joy, sharing cruise joy today. Bye.